Hello and welcome. In this video, I will give you a short introduction on the inventory counting functions of Bayes. Our solution extends the standard stock taking of SAP Business One. The Bayes functions you can use for inventory counting can be found in the Inventory Transactions menu entering the system. These are Inventory Opening Balance, Cycle Count Recommendations, Annual Inventory, and Enter Counting. You can use the Inventory Opening Balance function when you are first implementing Bayes and want to load the initial inventory for the customer. Select the New Inventory option and create the initial inventory. Select the name for the scenario, how and when to evaluate the items, and select an account to book the values. Insert references and comments on a journal remark. This is to insert the initial stock for the database. This part is not filtered by warehouses. With the Stock Taking button, you can insert the items that you're going to receive in the system for the initial inventory. Click Add, select an item, a version if applicable, a warehouse, bin location if applicable, define a batch attributes, the counting amount, and you can set the valuation price. Click Update, and you have the item with its price. Do a backup, and BAS performs this transaction. As booking was completed without an error, it is displayed in the Stock Taking window. With the Import button, you can import a tab delimited text file created of an Excel file with mandatory structure. And create the inventory receipt by booking. The next step after the creation of the first inventory is to create the counting scenario for it with the cycle count recommendations or annual inventory functions. With the annual inventory counting function, you can register old stock on a given date. For example, annually, but it can be run in any scheduling, so you can use it as your regular inventory counting function as well. The cycle count recommendations, that is the old regular inventory function, is to get recommendations for stock taking and start accounting for the selected items. Difference from the annual inventory count is that here you must use a cycle that you can define in the SAP administration. The inventory cycles and cycle count determination master data must be defined before running this. When adding a scenario, you can apply different filters, for example, a range of items, item properties, item groups, warehouse, warehouse areas, pricing for valuation, and so on. With the inventory list, you can create counting lists. All items that were added to the scenario appear in this list. You can filter and count items, and in a counting list tab, you can create the counting lists. With the set button and all, the number you provide here will specify counting lists for every given number of items. Counted inventory can also be added to the counting lists by importing them from an Excel sheet in the Extended tab, just as in the case of Inventory Opening Balance. It is also possible to add items that you found on the warehouse and were not part of the counting in both the Annual Inventory and Cycle Count Recommendations. In the Administration tab, you can enter counting with the button in the header to start to define the counted amount for each product. Alternatively, you can do this in the main Annual Inventory window right-click menu. Or you can select it from the SAP menu. Or in the Desktop terminal, you can find the Inventory app, which opens the same window. Here you can also enter counting or register barcodes. For inventory counting, we have two web apps. With the inventory counting by item, it is possible to select the counting list, read item barcodes, and add quantities to an existing counting list without displaying the counting list itself. Define a counting list and provide all item specific information, and then tap Save. Once saved, the information appears in the Lines tab of the application. For further information, see our documentation. With the other app, inventory counting by list, it is possible to select the counting list and edit the quantity directly in the list view. Select the counting list in the header. Then, the screen switches automatically to the Lines tab, where you can select the quantity by using the minus and plus buttons. For further information, see our documentation. After we have performed the counting, we can go back to the inventory list function and click Check, and the system shows if it can be booked or there is an error. Click Booking to create bookings to adjust the items that have been counted. Increase or decrease quantities belonging to a given date. The system prompts database backup before it performs the action. After confirmation, Bayes starts to do adjustments to the counted amounts and the items that have just been booked will receive a green flag. We hope you found this short introduction useful. Thank you very much for your attention.